Bad, bad. Okay, there's some health. And we lost it anyway. Hey guys, and welcome back to the network, where today we'll be continuing some more Spy Hunter 2 for the original Xbox. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So we got trouble at the plant. All right, looks like we have unlocked the dual purpose rockets. See, now in the last episode, I said that I liked the machine guns more than the rockets, but uh, to be honest, I don't really remember. So we're just going to try the rockets and we'll see how they go. Cause I remember there's like three different things, three different, cause I haven't finished this game. I got about maybe 70% of the way through and then I stopped. Uh, I think... I think you can get... Um, dual mounted like 50 cal machine guns, which were pretty good. Okay, yeah, these... Okay, yeah, these rockets aren't actually that bad. See, I thought that they, they sucked way more than they actually do. You can, you can get a decent amount. Um, if you look up at the top... Uh, right of the screen you see that little uh arrow that's now uh that's that's ticking up towards 100 so that that's your main weapon ammo um and from what i recalled is it took a lot of missiles to kill something and then uh you hardly got any any uh like like it took a really long time to charge so basically like you had to spray the missiles and then you would get such, such few shots, and it would just suck. It, would, it just sucked. It just sucked. It's the opposite of Bethesda. It just works. No, it just sucks. <laughs> oh boy, hello. See, now I think there was a, okay, I guess you could just go through the building. See, that's the other thing that's great about about a lot of these older games is like if you can get past the visuals like a lot of the gameplay features in these like are pretty fun like they're pretty pretty enjoyable like there are a lot of decent games that just don't really exist uh anymore like uh uh what do you call it what, what, what do you not really see anymore i mean the original xbox had a compilation from Capcom called the Classics Collections, and that uh, is what we ended up using for Final Fight, uh, to play the arcade version of Final Fight. Now, I know that they have some compilations that have it, you know, modern, modern-wise, but it's like, it, you, you really don't, you really don't see that as much anymore, because there was 20 games. Like, now, now what you'd see it is it's like a compilation of five games, and then you gotta buy the rest as either DLC or a separate compilation, which kind of sucks, but... You know, it is what it is. Um, I de See, I felt like there was a reverse button, but I honestly don't remember what it was. Because it was like, either you hold the handbrake and then eventually you go in reverse, or it was like, something else. I don't know. So the controls are definitely weird for this game, but I mean, it's still an enjoyable premise. Because it's like, it's legit, you're James Bond. You're basically James Bond and, and you know, you, you spy cars blowing blowing all the peoples up having just a grand old time i really need to go get health i'm about to lose this that is bad 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 okay there's some health and we lost it anyway oh it's okay so you have to hold the brake button to go in reverse now we know now we know okay see i think this i think this is the part that did better with uh Oh, Agent of All. I think this is the part that did better with the machine guns versus the rockets, because there's a lot of dudes here. And, like, none of them are going to go and touch my uh, my little landmines that I placed, so there's going to be a big old, a big old waste of time. Big old waste of time. But, yeah. Oh, no, original Xbox is fun. If you haven't, like, done much with it, uh, I'd highly advise, you know, looking into, looking into the system. You got a lot of a lot of decent games, and they're, they're oftentimes a lot cheaper than, like, the PS2 or GameCube versions. Um, like, I think the GameCube version of... Uh... Oh, what, what, what's the name? What's the name? 
Mm, oh, GameCube version of the Clone Wars, like Star Wars: The Clone Wars, is like a twenty-five-ish dollar game. We're on Xbox. It's a whopping five bucks, and it comes with uh, Tetris Worlds as well. It's a nice little, nice little bonus, nice little bonus if you like Tetris. I mean, Tetris. Wor I mean, see, Tetris Worlds is kind of weird because it had uh, like a three D like spear that you were trying to do all the tetris -y shit with um but uh it has a normal tetris mode in there too so you don't have to necessarily play on the spear and it also uses custom soundtracks uh so you can like um burn a cd to your xbox's hard drive and then listen to the music in the game and there is like 50 or so different games that supported that feature and it's so cool because it's like, you know, you could be playing, uh, for example, oh, I'm about to blow up. Okay. Well, you could be playing, for uh, example, CSGO and um, have, like, Michael Jackson playing in the background or some dubstep or whatever. Um, it's definitely definitely a cool little, little feature. Uh, one morning not too long ago, I ended up adding some of my own music to... to uh, to it so it basically consisted of burning cd-roms and then copying it to the xbox hard drive which you know was really 2005 of me but uh you know it, it was fun it was fun it, it was real the real fun part about that though was uh it took about three minutes to copy 30 songs to the cd and then it took uh, like an hour and a half to freaking copy them to the xbox hard drive which was definitely showing you the age and technology and speeds of disk drives Definitely, definitely a fun little, fun little trip, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Spy Hunter 2 is definitely a challenging game. Like, it lo like it's pretty easy in the beginning, but it definitely has a difficulty curve, as a lot of the games do. Like, you really have to focus on micromanaging your health and um, watching out so that you don't... Uh, you know, do something stupid, like I did back there. When I was so focused on my conversation, I forgot that, uh, I was literally about to die. Hmm, <laughs> uh, a little bit of slowdown there. A little bit of slowdown. Eh, yeah, not too bad. Looks like it sorted itself out. See, the, on the, uh, the basically, if you look up, like, Xbox 360 uh, original Xbox games, you can get a whole list of all 451 titles that were made backwards compatible. Uh, make, made backwards compatible. Um, and uh, basically it tells you like the publisher, when they were made backwards compatible, if they're still uh, available and like known bugs that they have with it. With it. Um, and this one said there were none, so... You know, but that was definitely some slowdown that I don't think I experienced while playing on the original Xbox. But again, it's being emulated, so, you know, you're going to have some little glitches. Little glitches here and there. Alright. Let's see if we can do this successfully this time without losing all of our all of our goods. Yeah, see, this is, this is where the machine guns excel. Because these rockets take a very long time to regen if you're out. It'd be nice if you could almost, like, get the uh, tire spikes or whatnot to, like, slash the cars as they go by. Kind of like uh, Bond's uh, Aston Martin and I think it was Goldfinger? Oh, that's, uh, that's a good question. Somebody, somebody, you know, side check me in the, in the description. In the comments, someone leave a comment if you know where that, which uh, which Bond movie that was in. Because I think, uh, yeah, he was driving in the Aston Martin DB5, and uh, he ended up. Oh, that's cute. They take away the health if you. Uh, fin oh, never mind. It's it's over here. Uh, but yeah, what do you call it? Uh, he had his DB5, and then there was uh, like tire slashing things. Like, uh, the, the rims turned into, like, a little tire-cutting thingy, madoodle. Madoodle, madangle, madongle, doongle, dangle. What did I do? How did I screw <laughs> How did I screw up? Is it bad that I don't... Oh, yeah, I was going to make this jump, and then I ended up getting caught on something, and the dude blew me up. That's right. I remember now. I remember me sucking. I remember this all now. Just a normal day. 
Just a normal day in the office. Alright, so I think that oh hello. Yeah, I don't I don't think you want to stand in line of those for too long, otherwise it just means Oh <sighs> See, I thought they would have pushed me through. Or at least I'd have made it, but uh, that uh Damn. Yeah, I think that's the one flaw about this game. It definitely needs checkpoints. It it definitely needs checkpoints. When you hit a third certain like threshold, or at least if you get halfway through the damn mission, it should definitely checkpoint you. I felt like there was checkpoints, but as as we can see, that is not the case, and my memory is not serving me correctly. See, you know, that's a Mid Midway's a company that you don't really hear much from anymore. Like, do they even still make the uh, Mortal Kombat games, or did that get sent off to another dev? So I don't, I don't think Midway really does anything. Because if they do, the only thing I could think of them doing is Mortal Kombat. Other than that, I don't think they really touch on any other of their IPs. Because uh, Splinter Two's definitely not had anything. Um, I mean, Root Beer Tapper kind of exists. Maybe, did they get bought by Bethesda? I wonder if they weren't bought out by Bethesda. Or if, you know, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, this is where I died. I was doing this stupid thing. Ah, yes. See, I thought I died to an enemy, but nope, I died to the environment. We only have two minutes to complete this mission, and that that is just, that is just fantastic. Come on. Go in the tunnel. You know, I really don't remember if there was a boss or anything during this. I'm really hoping there wasn't, because if there is, that would suck. Massive... Things. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do we gotta do? What do we gotta do? We got a minute and 25 seconds. I get the feeling that we just have to make it to the VTOL ship. Yeah, we just have to make it to the VTOL ship. Sweet. Because, uh, honestly, if there was a boss, given the way my health is right now, I don't really feel like uh, destroying it with the little bike. Uh, actually, speaking of the little bike, if you want to, there is a button. I think if you push RB, it will eject you out of the car and put you in the little bike. Now, exactly why you would want to do that, I don't know. Um, I definitely feel like that is the worst decision, because, uh, when you're in the little bike, you, I don't think you can boost, you can't boost, and there's no, um, actually, I think you just can't boost, uh, and then if you die, you're dead, there's no, no second chance, so there's that, um, that is a, that is a questionable decision, <laughs> I guess if you wanted to just make the, make the game a little harder for you, you could do that, also, don't mind my blue tongue, I had some sprinkles, some sprinkles from Culver's, <laughs> but, uh, I think, uh, I think we'll leave this episode off here, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss anything new from the network. And we will see you guys in the next video.